All right, cool. So uh, what we'll do is we'll talk about how to profit with simple sites. Um, for those of you who don't know me or haven't seen me yet, uh, I've been doing this for about 19 years, almost 20 years now, which makes me feel kind of old. But hey, it's all right. I've, I've been told I don't look old, so we'll, we'll go off that one. Um, and I've been doing this to where we literally find niches, build a little simple site, and profit in a really easy way. Um, some of that has been off of software. Some of that has been off of affiliate programs, and some of that has been off of using software affiliate marketing programs as well, which is really cool. So what we like to do is we like to make things very simple, and we like to start with a keyword, right? So um, now, were we going to go through like simple sites, or did you want to go through like how I do the downloads, or what do you what do you guys what are we looking at today? All right, awesome. So with the Chrome extensions, these are really cool. Um, as you guys see, I have my own Chrome extension. If I actually use Chrome here, let me see if I have a Chrome window open. Uh, yeah, so if I use Chrome like this, you guys can see how my extension works. And it's this little blue thing right here. It just drops down this. Um, and we have, I think we're at like 6,000 members right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and what they do is we give this away free because now we can lead people into affiliate programs and offers and things like that. Now, you guys might have seen this with like the Honey app or different kinds of apps that people have to save money, make money or whatever it is. Um, and they go through and you get people to download it, which is cool. And it makes money. Now, there's a there's this side of the coin where I use this to make money in my own business and to promote my own affiliate stuff. And there's another side of the coin where we actually go through and you can actually promote these, right? So if you look at this and you type in Offer Vault, which is for you guys that don't know Offer Vault, you go to Offer Vault to find offers. It's cool, right? So you can find offers on Offer Vault and it'll tell you how much you're going to get paid for each offer. So if you look at this here, uh, you could type in like Toolbar or you could type in uh, Chrome extension or I like to use extension, right, like this. Um, and you can see all the extensions that they have available, and you can actually promote these and get paid, right? So instead of having my own, I can actually go in and say, okay, well, I want to promote this Maps browser, or I want to promote uh, this Weather browser, or a uh, local news browser, or a uh, Mail tab. Uh, I had a student who made a whole bunch of money with the Mail tab one, uh, Recipes. And what these are is little Chrome extensions that people can download that you get paid on. So you can see here... Uh, for the Maps one, I get $4.20 when they download it. And if you look at the landing page, uh, let's see if it'll go to the landing page here. It might just go to their sign-up page, so we might have to find a different one. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Where's the Maps one? <laughs> the Maps one? Yeah. Uh, the Maps one is, let's see, sometimes other affiliate networks will have it so like this one maybe he's got it yeah so this right get quick access to maps and directions all they have to do is hit continue install the chrome uh, the chrome browser and boom i get four dollars and twenty cents or on this example uh three dollars uh or whatever it is and this is literally i mean i i use this to make millions of dollars um just getting people to download different browser tools um the way that i've done it in the past is like the pdf toolbar which is really cool because like people want to download a tool that helps them uh, convert a PDF or change a PDF or whatever. Um, and I think that one's still available. Let's see if it is. PDF. Uh, yeah, Easy PDF Combine. Um, these guys are really good. So you look at the PDF Combine. And this one pays out $2 a lead. Um, now, usually you could do better than that. If you get a lot of traffic, you could probably get them to go to like 250 or 3 bucks or whatever, which makes a difference if you're doing like 2000 a day. Um, so like this one here, Easy PDF Combine, he is $2 per download. And again, really easy. Hey, you want to combine PDF files? Click here to continue. Um, now, what I like to do is I like to actually go to my Google AdWords Keyword Tool Planner, and I'll type something in like um, Convert PDF. And what you'll see it's pretty non-competitive, right, like this. So PDF to Word Converter, PDF to Word, PDF Converter, uh, PDF to Word Converter free, which you can use because it actually is free, uh, which is really cool. So like Word to PDF uh, Converter, low competition, 50,000 people a month searching for it. And we could actually go to Google and see what's going on. Google.com. And we go to uh, Word to PDF Converter like this. And we're like, okay, cool. There's no advertisers, right? Like if you type in mortgage, 
there's going to be a bunch of advertisers, mortgage loans, um, down on the bottom, bunch of ads, page two, bunch of ads. But for our word, uh, word to PDF converter, there is literally no advertisers on this one, which is really cool. Page two, no advertisers. So this one I could probably, okay, here's a couple of advertisers, but they're uh, pretty basic. So we should be okay with that. Um, and I think they're probably doing the same thing. Uh, looks like it based on those. You can check them out later and see if they're doing it, but I'm pretty sure they are. I've been doing this a while, so I can kind of tell what uh, the people are doing. But this one here, you could probably get traffic for uh, Google saying like 17 cents on that one. I'm guessing you could probably, if you target it right um, and you have a content match, because content match is huge, uh, you could probably get this traffic for anywhere from three to 10 cents. And if you're getting traffic for three to 10 cents and driving them to something that makes you two to four dollars, right, you can convert this thing all day long because they convert like uh, 10%, uh, sometimes, you know, 5% or whatever, depending on it. But this one's probably right around, I think, 10% last time I checked on this one. People are paying you per download it's not if they buy it it's if they go and download it so if they pay you a certain amount for you to download an, an extension let's say and you can go and buy google adwords to drive traffic to it at less than what they're paying you you're collecting that difference all day long so mm -hmm. yeah all right exactly and, and they don't even have to opt in like literally it's just click a button Boom, it pops up. And they're so easy to install these, it's not even funny. Um, and they work extremely well. And you could use this in conjunction with other things. Um, obviously, if I've made millions of dollars doing this, the companies that make these make way more. Um, and they're making it based on a search base. So like there's a little search bar on the toolbar that works, and then they get paid per search, uh, which is really cool. I think uh, one year we were, um, who was it? It was a huge company. It was like owned by, what the heck was their name? Miva? Miva was one of them, and then there was uh, another one. The name skips me because I got a headache today. Um, <laughs> but it'll come to me. It will come back to me. Um, but it was a really good one, and we were their top affiliate for a long time. They took us out to dinners everywhere and took us out to like all kinds of fancy here's business a, meetings. Here's a question stuff. from a beginner. Why are, mm -hmm. people, why are they doing this? Why don't they run their own ads? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they do, but they miss the market. Like, they miss a lot of what's going on, um, and they know their numbers. They're like, okay, if I could pay Marcus $4 to get someone to download it, if it costs me 10 to get them to download it. Because actually what happens um, is our job as affiliate marketers, does anyone know the number one job in a, of an affiliate marketer? Right? Type it in the box if you think you know the number one job. And I'll tell you what I think the number one job is, and we'll kind of compare. Hey, Brian. Right, so type hey, Oki. Hey, Kevin, mm -hmm. go ahead and let us know what is the number one job of an affiliate marketer because some of you guys are affiliate marketers. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it might surprise you. It's a little different than what other people would say. Um, but I think you guys will, will really like it when uh, it goes through. Okay, here's okay. my number one guess. Okay, my guess is uh, as an affiliate marketer, you um, talk about the software and you try to rank it either your blog or you try to have it be known to other people that this exists and if someone gets whatever you're talking about then you get a kickback from mm -hmm. spreading the word yep cool pretty close um kevin says online salesperson simon says sales for the principal i think is what that means the number one job, in my opinion, for an affiliate marketer is to be creative. Okay, you got to be creative. That's the number one job. Because if you go here and you're like, okay, I'm going to market this for PDF or download PDF or combine PDF or whatever, you're going to gravitate towards market, uh, break even. Right? If I go and I'm like, okay, I'm going to market weight loss, then I'm going to go to the Google tool and I'm going to type in weight loss. Uh, let's see here, weight loss and let's say i get eighty dollars for an ebook sale or whatever right usually 40 to 80 bucks for something in that market what's going to happen is i'm going to go for weight loss and i'm going to see that it's like five dollars and 56 cents a click okay now if i do 556 if i'm like okay i get paid eighty dollars let's put that over 556 okay that means i need to get a sale every 14 clicks that's probably not going to happen 
right? They're very difficult. Have you ever gotten a sale every 14 clicks uh, on generic paid traffic? I don't think I've ever gotten that many. No. <laughs> no, very difficult. So that's what most affiliate marketers do is they're like, oh, well, you know, I'm out of luck because that's not going to work. So instead, what I do is I say, who else wants what I have to offer but doesn't know it yet? Right. So when I was doing um, the toolbar, there used to be a toolbar for smiley faces. Right. How many of you guys downloaded free smileys back in the day and you had smileys on your phone and on your Skype and on your uh, MySpace and everything like that? Do you guys remember those? I think it was called Smiley Central. Smiley Central was the program. Um, and it was these little happy faces. Right. You guys remember these? If I you knew did. Copy paste emoji the website copy paste emoji but yeah anyways go perfect on. exactly and that's the deal so what happened here is i looked at this and i was like okay i can get smiley face traffic and it's okay but i'm only getting like a thousand visitors a day now i was making 300 bucks a day on it so i was happy but i wanted to make more because as a marketer you always want to make more and so i was like okay who else would want these but didn't know it and at the time myspace was getting huge Right? It was like everyone used MySpace. It was everything. And these MySpace people wanted to put little things on their MySpace and stuff. So what I did is I went through and I used the um, keywords like MySpace profile, MySpace music players, MySpace this, MySpace that. And I promoted these um, smiley faces and I promoted uh, Cursor, some Cursor Mania. And these guys at the time, I think the smiley faces paid me... Gosh, I don't remember. It was like $2 a download or whatever. And then these cursors I put on my site as well. And I was like, okay, well, I think these MySpace people, instead of having a little, you know, finger thing here on their MySpace, they maybe they'd like a peace symbol or ellipse or this little blue guy or whatever it is. And so I made it in a way that worked for them. And I think I can actually show you examples if I can find them. Let's see if I can. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I will remember where it's at. Hey, it guys, if you have any questions at all during this training, let me know in the comments. This is an interactive training while um, Mark, <laughs> Mark is finding mm -hmm. his link. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you're here live, hashtag live, and if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. This is my first time doing OBS with Skype. So it's an experiment. If you can't hear me that well or if anything, you can't see something, let me know. Cool. Um, yeah, so the cursors were really good. And I was like, okay, who else would want this? And then I went even deeper and I went for like Bible cursors or Christian cursors or whatever. Um, and then I would go for like uh, basketball cursors and everything like that. And it's really, really big because you can actually find cursor. Uh, you can find a lot of people actually look this up. Now, that market has kind of phased out since then because cursors are now downloadable everywhere. Um, but they worked really well. Like you can see, they are still looking for it. Same kind of thing I did with fonts. Um, there was a font download toolbar that I made money on, and then I also sold fonts as well, uh, which works really good. And you could use this with anything. Like you think about it, most people are going to go and they'll be like, well, you know, Marcus, I, I found that one for weather, and I'm going to go and I'm going to do this under like weather report. And they're going to go to their AdWords tool and do weather report. And then they're going to see that it's somewhat competitive. Like if you're only getting $3 a download and you have to pay $0.69 cents a click, $1.71 a click, all this is going to be like ridiculously competitive. You're not going to make any money. But if you actually go and you're like, okay, well, let's go to Google and let's do 2019 hurricane names. I get a list of what all the hurricanes are going to be named in 2019, right? So I could actually go here and be like, okay, well, I can rank for Hurricane Allen, Hurricane Brett, Hurricane Cindy, Drake, blah, 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 blah. I can rank for all these hurricanes, which there's no competition for at all, <laughs> and then lead them to um, the, what do you call it, the uh, weather toolbar. Like if I do Hurricane Noah, I will go here, it will be like Google, Hurricane Noah, boom, right? Not that competitive at all. It actually doesn't even know what it is because it tries to redirect me. If we do it in quotes, we got uh, 2,600 results, which is nothing. And then there's also, so this is free traffic. You can actually get free traffic on this stuff. Um, and you can actually use the timeout method, which is like you go here, you see 2,600, which is nothing. But then the timeout method 
is going to show you that there's actually only 90 compi sites competing, right? So there's like no competition. And then you do this for all of these and boom, you got a bunch of stuff. You just, you know, update them with whatever's going on with the hurricane and tell them, um, hey, go to download the hurricane tracker or whatever it is. Uh, so I can get three bucks. I mean, so that uh, you can get the <laughs> hurricane tracking, right? Um, which is cool because it does serve the purpose and it does help them out. Hey, Eric. So, um, so for those of you who are joining, what we're doing right now and what we're showing you, uh, or what Marcus is showing you actually, is that there's this site called OfferVault.com and people are paying for for just the lead just the lead itself and sometimes the wholesale uh, it looks like some some they pay for the sale itself but some they pay just for the lead and if you're creative um, you can go ahead and run an ad to a simple site where each time you run the ad and people click on your your keyword it only costs you a certain amount of cents or however and then just because they download a Chrome extension or just because they, they opt into um, the software, then you get paid out. So it looks like there are, on this site itself, they pay per sale as well. It says type sale and then there's <laughs> type lead. So um, so Marcus, as a, as a beginner person um, talking to you about this, <laughs> where do, it seems like as a job of a marketer, I have to be creative. It seems like I am frozen with too many options. Like, give me something where it's very simple and actionable and be like, Kim, do this. Like, mm -hmm. because I think that's what a lot of people would want to hear. Like, okay, I'm going to go and do this. You showed us a really cool example with the weather. Like, you write about the hurricanes that leads you to the weather one. But, um... Mm -hmm. Coming into the site, I, I, I'm like, okay, I got one example for Marcus. That's the example mm -hmm. I'm going to do, <laughs> which <Yeah. laughs> requires a lot of work, right? Like I'm writing articles about all these hurricanes. Um, but what we want to do is like something simple. Is there like, uh, are there methodologies you've applied that's really simple and straightforward? Sure. Yeah, one of the easiest ways to do this is with paid traffic. Um, so if I have like PDF Chrome extension or something like that, and I'm looking at, uh, what was it? I think there was one that was like four bucks or whatever, two bucks for this one. Um, so I'm looking at this. Now you're going to get two bucks every time someone downloads it. So like if you get 10 people downloaded, you get 20 bucks. If you get 100 people downloaded every day, you get 200 bucks, right? That's like people go to work for that kind of money and you could do that getting people to download something, uh, which is cool. So what I would do is I would take this and I'd say, okay, this is, this is strictly for Bing, which is good. Um, we can take and use this and make a simple landing page, right? All I would do is I would use WordPress and I'll make up like a little mock-up of it now. What I would do is I'd use my WordPress and I'd make it kind of like my affiliate marketing dude site, right? Like this, where it's like, hey, here's what you're going to get. Download the thing. We're not going to have the opt-in unless you want it, uh, which you can do depends on what you're what you want to do right like if you want to follow up later you can do that uh, but we want to make it simple so what i would do is i'd make a simple page on my wordpress and i'd be like okay um combine your pdf or whatever whatever our keyword is so if we go here we're like okay we're going to do um convert pdf right i would go like this and be like okay convert pdf uh pdf to word converter uh word to pdf so i'm going to do convert word to pdf so that's what my page is going to be about and i'll be like okay let's make it look nice and you can do all this on wordpress actually my course has all the tools um, that you can use on wordpress to make all this happen in a super easy way so we'll do this here we'll do do, do, do. okay so i'm just going to do like this do, 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 do. and Are make a simple land a page site? is this html yeah, this is a little HTML program. Um, it's going to be a mock-up, but as you can see, like this is on WordPress, so you can do this on WordPress as well. I'm just using the mock-up to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, got it. And if you want to use HTML, you can. It still works. I mean, I've been using this program forever. Uh, so I would do something like um, convert Word to PDF in three seconds or less convert your word doc 
to PDF in three seconds or less. So I'm going to do this, make it bold, make it big, make it centered, make this a little bigger, kind of make it look good, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to find a way to get the people into the actual offer. Okay. The best way to get people into the offer is by having something interactive. Um, so you can have like a button or you can have like an upload thing or something like that. And it doesn't even have to work. It just needs to look cool. Right. So you could do something like, um, let's do this. Do do google.com upload file. Uh, let's see if there's like a, okay. So we could do something like this. Obviously you would want to make your own so that it doesn't, you know, step on anyone's toes, mm -hmm. but we're going to put this here. And based on my testing of this, you're probably going to have, uh, where's our little border thickness? You're probably going to have about um, 9 out of 10 people click this. So if you get 100 people to your site, 90 or more are going to click this button and go to the next page. right? And then what I would do is I'd have a little teaser of how to use the toolbar. So I'd do, um, let's see where it's at. PDF combine, let's see if they give us a landing page preview. Oh, okay, so I already have something like that. But this is what the toolbar looks like here. Um, and you can even get a screenshot of the toolbar, right? So I could go in and be like, okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of the toolbar. Just capture, boom. You'll capture the toolbar here. Copy. And, of course, you can make it fancy as well. Let's trim it up a little. Zoop, boom. And let's see how big is that. 921, still a little big. I'm going to do a little bit smaller here. Let's see how we could do this. So we're going to take it a little bit more from this side. Copy, put it over here. And a lot of what I do seems a lot more glamorous than it is, but hey, this is how I've made a lot of money, uh, <laughs> which is cool. Everyone's like, wow, you must have like the greatest programs and the greatest designer. And I'm like, now, nah, dude, I'm using a $30 program. Yeah. And boom. So we take something like this and I put that on the page so that they're ready to know what they're going to get. Okay, and all of these would link to the offer. And then I can also do like a offer um, teaser. Let's see if I can do an offer teaser here. Do, 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 easy PDF combine. Okay, so his button's big and green. So I would want a big and green button. Like this. Take his button. And As obviously cool make sure... This Snagit editor... Um, you uh -huh. can use, guys, you can use Jing, you can use Snagit. I, is it free? I think Snagit Editor is free. I think they give you a free trial, but Jing is made by Snagit. So if you like Jing and if that's free, you could use that as well. Um, so I'm just going to make a button here. You, uh, let's make it look more buttony. Eric says, can you send me the link to the site? Because I'll forget the name of it before this finishes. <laughs> uh, which go, site? Eric. It's Offer Vault, I think he's asking. Okay, that's that. nice. Offer cool. Vault, and then there's also Snagit. So I'm just going to type it down Snagit Editor. So you guys can know what to bookmark. And it seems like uh, Marcus is just using Microsoft front page. Mm hmm. To and I would I would actually use this on WordPress. Like when I got more fancy, I'd do this on WordPress. And I actually have tools um, as part of my course that show that actually do this for you, uh, which is really cool. So it gets even easier than this. But there would be our button like this. And you'd make your button and then your button could say something like, um, you know, download, download this or whatnot. Like this. And then you just put your text here. And you put something like upload. 
upload and convert file, make it white, center, and now we have a little button, and we can fancy it up a little bit later, doesn't really matter, just needs to get the job done, and then we'll just put that into our little mock-up, boom, right like that. And then we have a little page, and then you can have like you can outsource and have a little article written about PDFs here, right like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then boom, you have a page. Put your little disclaimers and your company info on the bottom, and then there you go. You could do this like if you want to do free traffic, you could go to forums of people that are looking to convert PDF, and you can tell them how to do it, and then have a little link in the forum description. People will go, they'll go download it. You'll get your two three bucks, and boom. Or you could run it on MSN Google. Um, as long as the numbers fit, it'll work really well. And every time I've tried it, the numbers usually fit pretty good. Wow. So, hey, guys, if you're here live, hashtag live. And if you're here for the replay, hashtag replay. And if you're right now listening to this and getting value from it, smash that heart button. Um, I do want to ha I have a question for you, Marcus. So it seems really simple so if i apply this and i go and create an adword campaign on bing or google um how soon do you expect to get results from someone who's a noob well the the learning curve is going to be setting up the site uh which literally you could probably set up a site in a couple hours uh, it's not that hard to do if you use the instructions that i teach you could set up a blog really really fast um, and then as soon as you get your first click, you will see a result. They'll either download or they won't. Um, obviously, don't give up after the first click. You know, <laughs> it's like get a few more. Um, on, on downloads like this, if I don't see a, a download in 30 clicks, uh, I'm like, okay, what's going on? Um, so I'd kind of, I'd revamp it from there. But this is literally the pages that I've used. Um, let me see if I can find those old... Can you, examples. Give us, yeah. can you give us an example that you wouldn't mind sharing? Because Yeah, I if I can find this old page. <laughs> let me see, where is it? TNT, uh, and Paul has just said this would be really easy in ClickFunnels. I agree, Paul. ClickFunnels and Canva is what I, I would use um, because I'm so familiar with dragging and dropping things around in ClickFunnels. But it mm -hmm. seems like you don't really need to even pay for ClickFunnels account. You know, WordPress is um, actually you need to have hosting for WordPress. So either way, you're paying for something. But <laughs> well, and with with WordPress, the reason I would use WordPress um, is because the tools that I've created work really well. So a lot of people have seen. Um, let me see if I can find it here. We're gonna have to find it the old way. A lot of people saw my uh, lottery site. And this is a lottery site I set up. It took me 13 minutes, or no, it took about 20 minutes to set up. And 13 minutes from the minute it went live, it actually made its first money. Um, and it was winning numbers, I think, something like that. And hopefully they have a cache of it. Yeah, cool. Um, so this site here was a lottery site, and it was a lottery toolbar. And I think the lottery toolbar is back. So let's see if it's back real quick. Lottery, lotto, or lottery. Let's see if it's under this. Uh, and it was a little toolbar. Yeah, there it is. Um, easy lotto. So the easy lotto toolbar basically just shows them the top things, um, like the numbers and everything. So like when they're going to check their tickets. Um, and so one day I, I woke up and I'm like, holy shit, the lottery is at like $600 million. I'll bet a lot of people are searching for it. So I actually have a webinar on my channel where I go in live and I build this site live refresh the page and show it making money and i think it made like 400 bucks on the webinar which is pretty cool everyone was flipping out um and it pays so a dollar 80 when they download the lottery toolbar to see what the winning numbers are my site actually looked like this i believe this was the timing um and the reason i haven't run it till now is because the lottery toolbar just came back so i intend on running it again um it was gone for a couple of years but this is what it looked like and it was a WordPress site, as soon as it loads. You would think fast internet would be faster than this, but hey, you know, to each his own. Let's see. There it is. Okay. And it's going to give us the ugly version. Let's see if it'll load a better version here.
So who here right now knows that this exists? Um, and that you can do there this. Like, let me know in the comments whether you're watching the replay or you're watching the live. Let me know if you even know something like this exists on the internet. So this was the example of the site. It's a simple little header, simple uh, three-page WordPress site. And the reason it worked, now you might think, oh, I'll just make it just like this. The reason this worked is because of the drop-downs. And I would actually change the drop-downs based on the date. And I'd keep the top dates up top, like the, the most recent ones. And what happened was more than 99% of the people who came to the site clicked the drop-down. Right? So most people, like 99% of the people that visit their site are leaving. But on this, 99% or more stayed and actually went to the offer. Now, on this one, I think it's first day online, it did like 1600 bucks, which was pretty cool. And it was, I think, 60% profit. I believe those were the numbers. It might have been 50%. It was like 60 or 50% profit, uh, which meant I spent uh, $600. I made 13 or, or 14 or whatever that is. Um, and it worked really well. I even sold some ClickBank books about winning the lottery uh, but that was great. It was like, you know, I made an extra 20 or $30 a day or something like that. Um, but that's how it works. Like, you have to base it on the way people search, the way people look at things. Um, I had a gas prices website that did the same kind of thing, uh, where it was like, hey, put your zip code to get the gas prices. Boom, they go to the offer. Um, and that's not weird. Like having a page like this is totally what you would expect. Oh, I want to convert it. I better upload my file. Boom, they go to the offer and uh, download the toolbar. You get paid. Uh, which was really cool. You know what this uh, reminds me of, Marcus? You know how I type uh, how to download like a tool or something? It would lead me to a tech um, tech like website that, uh, what is it? They review websites, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I'm thinking, are they reviewing it to get that affiliate sale? Or are they like doing it so that you even, or they're using this, like um, the vault so that they get paid on the lead even to download. Because I always type like, um, download Jing, download um, mm -hmm. TeamViewer, download something, and it leads to this site that says, uh, we're an accredited site. If you download from us, then mm -hmm. you know that you're actually getting the, the actual thing, you know? Yep, and you can even take it a step further, and if you want to capture the emails of all the people looking for the PDF download, you can capture the email, and then there's some PDF software that pays, you know, a hundred bucks. Like on our font site, it was crazy. I remember I'd I'd walk in and I was making money off the font toolbar, um, like thousand bucks a day or whatever. And then all of a sudden, I'd log into my uh, commission junction, and I'm like, holy crap! Some dude bought like eight hundred bucks worth of fonts, and I got like four hundred dollar commission, um, which was cool because it's like people will buy this stuff, and it does work really well. And you're not alone. 3,000 people a month are looking for Jing download, um, yeah. which is cool. And you could do all kinds of stuff. Like one of the ones I did, um, like if you're going to do like a virus download or something, instead of going for like virus scanner, okay, you're going to see this is competitive. So if I was marketing McAfee or something and I do virus scanner, high competition, 585. If I get paid $40 a download or um, a sale, I'm not going to make any money, especially on this. Like, I like to get a sale every two clicks. That's not going to happen. So instead, what I do is I'll do like error code, right, and see what error codes people have. I actually use this to do like hard drives and data backup and all kinds of stuff where you do like error code whatever. So like this huge ass error code here, <laughs> right? People are searching for this. There's no competition, error, OXO, whatever. So this is applying to Adobe Flash Player. Watch this. So Adobe Flash Player. Uh, let's go over here and see if there's like a flash toolbar or something like that. Flash. Chrome US. All right, cool. So like on that traffic, I would get uh, flash player 425, right? And that's like, that's a lot of traffic for that word. That's 3,600 a month. Um, you know, you get, I don't know, 500 a month to download it. That's two grand right there. And you only tackled one code. Right. Wait, There's also can, can like you, this while one. you're sharing your screen, can you mm -hmm. Google that and see how many sites have that available as their keyword? Sure. Search? That error so, code, the ridiculous long one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So like this one here, if we do uh, in quotes, we got this, so 112,000, but we're also going to use the timeout method. And I also like to look at YouTube. So like what's the this timeout dude. method again for those of you who are joining? Hey, Catlin, what's the timeout method? Timeout method is where you search for it like this, and then you scroll to the bottom, and you just click the 10, and you, you wait till it times out. So see how it timed out at 90? Yeah. So some of them will time out at like 400 or whatever, but it shows you the actual real people who have that, like, that's the word they're going for. Oh, so 90 websites. Yes. So pretty easy. Now, this one, I mean, I'd probably just go paid traffic on this. Um, the reason I go paid traffic is because on a lot of the sites, like this guy probably has Google AdSense on here. Uh, yep, right there. So Google AdSense there, Google AdSense here. Uh, let's see where else. Yeah, so as content match, like I'm going to show up here and here, and this actually converts better than search in these types of instances. Oh, wow. And it's cheaper. Like literally, I, I get traffic for like two cents doing this. Um, and that's one error code. Imagine if you did this with, you know, 50 or 500. I actually uh, knew a guy who did this with phones, phone numbers. And he had someone make a script where it literally made a page for every phone number in the United States. And I don't know the ethics or legality of this, just using it as an example. Um, but he used every phone number and it was like, oh, reverse search. And he did the reverse search thing. Um, and he, he was making like 160 grand a month off it, which was crazy. And disclaimer, results not typical, implied or guaranteed. We don't know what you're going to make. We don't know what you're going to do. Most people make nothing. But hey, I think you guys get the point that this stuff works if you use it. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at there. And again, I mean, error code, error code. Uh, let's see what this error code is. Okay, for those of you who are joining, hashtag live if you're here live and hashtag replay if you're here for the replay and smash the heart button if you're getting value from this. Who here knows that OfferVault.com exists and that they actually pay per lead? So if you have a very simple one, two page website and you run an ad, to you run Google AdWords to it and it costs you a few cents per lead, but every single time they go to the website and they click download, whether it's an extension or software, um, they pay you for the download that you don't even need to have anyone opt in. Let me know if you know this. <laughs> and you can even do YouTube traffic. This dude's got like 18,000 views. It's only been up a year. Um, and he just shows you how to fix the error code or whatever. And then you could be like, oh, by the way, go download the error code fixer program or whatever, um, and you're going to get paid on that, which is cool. And that's that's the deal because there's no competition in this stuff. It's like ridiculous. Like I used to do um, hard drive error. When you say used to, why do you used to? Why don't you do it now? <laughs> um, I still do with a lot of stuff. I just keep those ones closer to my my private stash of niches. Um, but actually, we have a program where I sold these to a bunch of people. So a lot of my students came in and they're like, dude, I want a site that I think will work. Um, and I'd sell it to them. Um, and a lot of them went on to use them to make a lot of money, which is pretty cool. Um, so this one here, Windows detected a hard disk problem. Like if anyone knows computers, what's the first thing you need to do when you get a hard drive problem? Like the first thing you got to do. To get a hard drive? Oh, a hard drive problem. Yeah, if your hard drive's like, you're like, okay, something's happening with my hard drive. What do I do? I don't know. I'm not a computer person. Anyone who's a computer person, <laughs> let me know. Uh, mm -hmm. well, Eric Strickland says, what's the name again? The name of what? Oh, it's, or it's, uh, what is it called? Something vault.com. Oh, offer vault. Offer vault.com. I also included. Yep. And if you guys. If you guys want to learn this stuff and you want to like have links to all this, go to affiliatemarketingdude.com and download the Chrome toolbar. Right? This Chrome toolbar actually has searches. So watch this. This is cool. So I made this toolbar and it's for oh, people yeah. who want to do exactly this. <laughs> yep. And you go in and you're like, boom, you can search and it'll actually search Offer Vault for you. It'll search Google for affiliate programs, ClickBank. It'll actually even do like competition trends on stuff, uh, which is really cool. And I think you have to enter in a stupid code here because I do this way too many times a day. Um, and it'll give you like reports on the keyword. It'll do check for domain names. Um, and that's all in the Chrome toolbar. You can get at affiliatemarketingdude.com. Um, now, a lot of people asked or answered when I said, what's the first thing you do when your hard drive is about to clonk out? 
you back it up. Exactly. Now watch what happens. Hard drive error, five cents a click. Like literally Google's like, it's five cents a click, right? So that's not like anything made up. That's like right there. But watch this. Click this off, go to data recovery. Even if you just did AdSense, boom, you got, uh, let's see, data photo recovery. So data recovery, 30 bucks a click, right? So you're anywhere from three to $30 a click. Um, and that's what you'd get paid as an AdSense publisher. You could also do a uh, hard drive repair. These kind of things work well or data backup or whatever. So let's see what data backup. Do, 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 data backup. Okay, I'll drop the link for the um, toolbar here, but I want to make sure you get credit for it. So you guys go to um, affiliate. I'll put it in the box. Go to affiliate dude.com slash Kim. Okay, that's going to take you to my main page um, where you can get the, the product and everything, but use that and then go to affiliate marketing dude.com. Um, and you guys will see it. It'll, it'll pop up there for you, uh, which is cool. So awesome. Um, and use that. You guys will love that. All right. Um, but yeah, it's a backdoor into the niche, like cloud backup, 70 bucks a click, 69 bucks a click, 40 bucks a click. Um, seventeen dollars a click, and this is actually one I do uh, now. I do for hosting because if you look at like web hosting, we all know that web hosting companies pay a fortune in commission. I actually make quite a bit on web hosting uh, commissions myself. And like if you go here and you're like web host, right? This is expensive, super expensive traffic. Not going to work. Not going to happen. Um, so what I do is I look for people that ne need web hosting but don't know they need it. And I'll do stuff like start a blog or I'll do something oh, like Marcus, there's a there's a program that uh, shows you what domains are newly registered by people. It's called domain leads, the IO or whatever, and those are all the people it's like this huge database of all the people registering domain names. So they would mm -hmm. probably need hosting, maybe. For sure. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Um, or you could do uh, different things on like how to do stuff. Like maybe um, let's do like on Wix because Wix is a free web hosting and it doesn't do stuff, which is why I don't really care for it. Uh, but people who want to do stuff on Wix, Wix on mobile devices, or we could do like um, on WordPress and see what people want for WordPress, which is really cool. Um, Instagram on WordPress, different things like that. And I think... I might have a filter on here because it looks like it's being kind of lame or maybe we're using it too much. Um, but that's how it works. It's super easy. You just go do it. Um, and it seems easier than it than you would probably think, which is why most people don't try it, uh, which I'm happy about because I've been doing this for a long time. Um, and it works really well, like WordPress themes or something like that. Um, WordPress blog. Yeah, like people looking to start joining, a WordPress blog. What are we doing right now, Marcus? <laughs> What are we doing right now? This is keyword research. So what we're doing is we're trying to find back doors to niche markets. Um, like web hosting is expensive, can't compete. But I can go for words like WordPress blog. I can compete in that. Um, I can go for you know different words like how to install WordPress. Oh, well, hey, if you get this host, you can install WordPress for free. You just click a button and in 30 seconds to have it. Boom, there you go. Um, and these things work really well. You could do this on YouTube. You could do it on uh, pay-per-click. You can do it on uh, Bing, whatever you want. Super, super simple to do. All right. For Hey, Stefan, thanks for joining us. Um, so, you guys, there's this place called OfferVault.com where people pay you just to have you download their stuff or anyone who clicks download their stuff, not even have to opt in. And what Marcus teaches is that you can run AdWord campaigns for cheap, whether it's Google uh, or Bing, for low competition keywords to these simple sites that as soon as they see it, what they're doing since they're searching for something to get, they click like download or they click, you know, they'll just click on it and then you get paid per lead. You can also get paid per sale, but per lead is pretty cool because then they don't have to buy anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And all you got to do is find traffic that wants what you have, like we did in the uh, weather example or the lottery example. 
the PDF example where they're doing the PDF download. Uh, there was actually years ago, there was a um, e-cards download. I don't know if it's around anymore. E-cards. And I used to run that every uh, Valentine's Day, and it kicked ass on Valentine's Day. That was cool. We actually had um, some competitors of mine. I was doing like four to $5,000 a day with it, but some of my competitors were doing like eighteen grand a day, um, which was pretty cool. Tony has a question. Are the sure. sites hosted by us as bridge pages to the offer, or is it direct to the offers? They're hosted by us. So you got to make a page because it's not going to convert the way that the site's made now. So you have to work on the conversion part. That's where the creativity comes in. Yeah, so here's some creative examples Marcus showed us. Like if you're trying to um, download a weather app or have people download a weather app, you write about hurricane names and people search for hurricane names they'll read about it and then they'll, they'll download the weather app as they're reading about the hurricane so he comes up with also marcus here's my question how do you come up with these random ideas do you have a <laughs> way for you to is there a process to it where you're figuring out these ideas or is it from your head or where is this coming there from? There's a process. So in the Simple Sites course, um, I actually, let's see if I can remember my password. Um, in the Simple Sites course, you can actually go in. This is a software that we sell that teaches all this. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, it's all based on that. And then what we do is we go to niche finding, and then you're going to go to the trigger word training. Trigger word training, this video is going to pop up and show you how to do it. And then what we use is our trigger words. So what I'll do instead of going here and typing in, you know, whatever based on my niche, I'll use a trigger word because as a marketer, I don't care what I sell. I'm like whatever, I'm just going to market whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's ethical and clean and uh, in line with my values, that's all I care about. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do like after, right? What do people want to do after? So notice, I, I don't know. It could be like after I wake up. It could be after I, you know, oh, whatever. It could I be want any. to answer Tony's follow-up question so we get them to opt in and convert them via email or whatever we use on the back end you actually don't need any back end marcus shows that people just virally click as soon as they see like the first landing page and they click to download an extension or they click to download something and they don't even need to put in their email address and you get paid exactly um so like after Okay, or actually for Tony, you can do an opt-in if you want. Um, I've done that like on my tattoo site. I did that um, where we put the, the name in first and then they search for their tattoo designs after, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, now this, like for after, we could look at like after school. There's probably people wanting to play games after school or maybe looking for after school daycare or whatever. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff like that. You could do... Um, Let's see what else we have. We could do after. We could do uh, answers or balance or beginner. Let's see. Broken? Maybe broken. Let's see what happens under broken. Turn this filter off. Guys, if you're then, live, hashtag live and smash the heart button if you're getting value from this awesome training right now. I think a lot of people on here are, are like, we have no idea that exists. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's kind of what I teach is things that a lot of people don't know exist. Like this house broken, there's people looking for like, why is their dog still taking a crap in the house? Um, and you can teach them, hey, here's how to you know get your dog to not take a crap in the house or whatever. Um, that kind of works really well. And you can always find niches. We have a huge, huge um, tool thing here. Actually, one of them was, uh, I think there was a yoga toolbar, which was really cool. Yoga. Wait, so I go there and I type in the keyword that you have on that list. I, I think yes. I kind of missed the training about that. Like, I Yeah, so like you're going to use... Yeah, you're going to use these words and you're going to see what comes up. So my job as a, as a marketer is to be creative and be curious. So I'm like, okay, what kind of exercises do people want to do? Okay, and we're like, okay, um, let's see. Is your link working? It should be working. It says page not found, but guys, if you click it on should it, work, yeah. it's a really long link. Just delete everything after Kim and then it'll go there. And also, uh, if you get anything, report back to me because then yeah, tell I'll, Kim we'll I'll give you bug some Marcus. I'll be like, Marcus, give me that credit. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, we'll give you some bonuses or something. So if you tell us you came from Kim, that'll work. So like this here, all these workouts, like, look at this, this is huge. These people all want to lose weight and do all kinds of stuff. Um, and you look over here and you're like, hey, check it out. We got the yoga toolbar. And there's a yoga toolbar that pays a buck eighty a download. And that links to exercises. Or you could even do like go to Google and you're like list of yoga poses. And you get the list of yoga poses and you're like, okay, uh, whatever that. Oh, that's Sanskrit name. So we could do like downward dog or whatever. And you're like, okay, well, let's do the old downward dog, downward dog. And you're like, boom, okay, get results. Downward dog, we got 27,000 people a month searching for downward no dog. Way. And I guarantee there's like no competition on this. Let's try Bing, see if there's competition. Nothing, no advertisers. Let's try Google, see if there's competition. Boom, um, no advertisers. Lots yeah. of YouTube, but no advertisers. Um, so super, super inexpensive, super easy. And a lot of these people that have these sites, um, they don't know how to monetize it. So nine times out of ten, they're going to have YouTube on it. Or not YouTube, um, AdSense on it, which is really cool. Right? And then you just go down the list. You're like, there's 30000 for Downward Dog. And then what else did we have? Do you know any other yoga poses? Let's see. No. Uh, yoga, <laughs> yoga. yoga poses names so we could do um pose finder there we go big toe pose right so i don't even know what a big toe pose is but hey we'll check it out and the toolbar shows them how to do all these and it's got all kinds of yoga stuff which is really cool um so big toe pose uh we got 260 a month or 1600 for that one we could go for boat pose Marcus, go for planking. the way you're making it sound is that it's super simple to make money online this way. It's, that's what I've been saying for like 20 years, but, you know, <laughs> there's only a handful of people who believe me. Um, oh, my and it, gosh. It is. <laughs> uh, oh, Tony is saying, what are the margins on some of this stuff and what are the regular commission percentages? Okay, so that's a good question because let's say I try this out, right, and I spend 100 bucks, and I do what you teach me. Like, I actually mm -hmm. follow it. I'm a good student. Mm -hmm. What do you expect me to, um, in terms of margins or regular commission percentages? Let's say I try it mm -hmm. for like a month and I don't give up. What have you seen are regular results? Not like a typical one where I'm making $1,000 a day, but like mm -hmm. typical results. Um, usually what I like to see, this is my results, um, and I see it across the students as well. I usually see about a 50-50. So if I spend a buck, I get two. Um, usually that's how it works. Now, sometimes, like I had a friend of mine that I taught this business to, and he was like spending $50,000 a day and making 60. Um, so his margins were like way less. I was a little, I was like, I don't really want to risk 50 grand a day. Um, he was willing to do it, and, and it was pretty cool. Uh, now, the commission percentages, there is no percentage on this type of stuff because no one's buying anything. So I get a straight eighty when they download it. But it doesn't matter. It's like if they download it, I get a buck eighty. Okay, so no commission. This is not affiliate. This is more like, well, this is this It's is CPA affiliate. affiliate. It's yeah, it's uh, cost it's per cost action. Cost per action affiliate. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then you just look at it and, and you could do this free. So like if you don't want to risk on traffic, you know, go like this guy and make a buy or not that guy, this guy here, where'd he go? Um, and make YouTube videos about poses. You just go like, oh, here's the downward dog, you know? Um, and then you say, oh, to get this and other poses, go to my site or whatever. Like this, 80 yoga poses, boom, 2016, he put this up. He's got um, 31,000 views. You know, if 10% of them download the thing, that's uh, 3,000 downloads. Uh, what, 6,000 bucks or something for a free video? Um, here's one, yoga pictures with poses, with names. He's got 90,000 there. Um, this guy's got Sanskrit names, so that's, they're looking for Sanskrit names. Um, that is 120,000, and you could even go here and do yoga poses. And see what kind of views. So, like, if you got 1.3 million views, uh, you'd probably be getting quite a few downloads. 20 million views, oh, 206,000. Here's a good question mm -hmm. from Tony. 
Um, mm-hmm. He actually does ads and he has an agency. So that's why he's asking these awesome questions. He's like, um, what about the downside? How do you minimize risk? Uh, well, pay-per-click advertising, if you're going that route. Now, you can have like very little risk and do free traffic. I've done that. Um, that's actually how I came up with the MySpace market is I, I ran free traffic first and then boom, it took off. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to buy traffic too. Um, but if you're doing paid traffic, you spend daily. So like pick a day when you're not working, you know, um, start your ad, cap it at 50 bucks, come back after you're done mowing the lawn or whatever you do and be like, okay, how much did I spend? Well, nine bucks. Okay, cool. Did I get enough downloads to make nine bucks? Well, no, I didn't. Okay, let's pause it. And then if you're part of my course, you could be like, oh, I'll go ask Marcus. What, why didn't it get this much? Um, but spend like 30 before you download. What I like to do is I like to spend 100 clicks first. So it's five cents a click. I'll spend five bucks and say, what happened? Um, so your downside is only going to be really, really big if you're not paying attention. And some people don't. I had that buddy who was doing 50 grand a day. We went to dinner and um, he had a few drinks and he put in the Google ten dollars a click and ten instead of ten cents and it ended up costing him a couple thousand bucks to have dinner that night um but that was the only reason because he entered it wrong but otherwise you are in complete control about it wow that is so awesome um i don't know uh, so tony has more questions um Mm -hmm. what is the longest and shortest campaign you ran can you oversaturate an offer with traffic that it starts to lose traction? Do you just jump mm-hmm. to the next one? What do you do? Um, so the longest and shortest, I think three years was the longest solid running, like maximum money one that I had where it was like a couple thousand bucks a day for three years straight. It was weird because I felt like I wasn't working. I was like, okay, I just wake up and I get money. What the hell? And I kind of got bored, but my kids were little, so we just played with them all day, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and so three years was that one. And then I just switched to the next one. So like when the cursors went out, I was like, okay, what about the lotto one? Um, so you kind of have to watch it that way, but they usually last quite some time. Uh, can you oversaturate it? Um, eventually. The only one I ever saw do that was the recipe toolbar. And I don't know if it was market saturation or the quality of the offer. So if it does, you just you just go in next. Okay. All right, cool. You guys, do you... Um, okay, Tony says he's getting it now. Okay, cool, Tony. You're in. Cool. I mean, this is pretty... Like, if you have a bit of time, this looks like you can knock it out in one day, kind of, right? I don't yeah, know. the sites you can put up super fast. And the tools we have, so like if you go into... Um, your affiliate marketing dude tool section. These are awesome. So on your WordPress, these work with WordPress. We have, I think, like 12 or 17 plugins that are really easy to use. And then like the stuff. So like if you want to do um, the drop down box like we did on the Lotto site, you just put your thing in here and then you put like, uh, I don't know what's today, 2-6-2019. Two, put your URL to your affiliate offer to seven 2019 or whenever the next lottery is and then you put your link and then it'll actually generate the code for you You can see the code changes as you enter this in you copy this you put it on your blog boom you got a uh, drop down now one of the other ones i do as well is um our search box code which puts a search box wherever you want and we actually have a plugin that tracks it which is really cool because you could track what they search for you just put your info in here so like if you have um if you want them to search for like tattoo designs you would put the big URL here and then just replace whatever the search term is with variable and it'll replace it so that your search box goes through your affiliate link, sends them the stuff and boom, there you go. Um, Eric, can it be set up automatic? Um, Kind of. I mean, once it's set up, it is automatic. Um, So yes and no. Um, We have a service where we build sites for you where you could do that as well. If you're interested in, Hey Marcus, can you guys build it? And then I just kind of tweak it and add my offers. Um, that is something, if you guys are interested, just say you are and we'll get you a link to that as well. Yeah, I think some people might be interested in, because it seems like they want the shortcut, like you mm-hmm. have, let's say that you're so f- so abundant with all these ideas, right? And then you, mm-hmm. 
you have your assistant or whoever's on your team create the the mm -hmm. site according to your principles and mm -hmm. it does make money as long as someone is spending the money to run the ad campaign to mm -hmm. it um what like so you have a package for that mm -hmm. yeah so if they want that um let me see if i can get your link for that so that you get credit uh, it might be an ugly infusionsoft link but hey Hey, we'll, Greg, we'll, we'll, Greg Jeffries just joined. He's like a old. He's like really good with SEL. He read. He. I've heard the name. Yeah, yeah he sounds from SEL domination course. So he actually. Cool. Hey, Greg. Let me know if you know about this. If you know about OfferVault.com and how you can, if you run traffic to it, um, to these offers, you get paid per lead. So if they download an extension or if they download something, they don't even need to opt in and you get paid. Let me know if you know about OfferVault.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you guys want me to choose your niche, there's going to be a big ugly link. That's the link you want. Okay, Marcus is sending a link for anyone who wants to just have them do, just have his team do the job, set it up, you run the traffic, you have the money to run the traffic, and you do that. Um, I, I also, I saw on Facebook this ad of the, about this lady. She rents out websites. She doesn't sell them. Mm -hmm. do, you have mm -hmm. a, do you have a program where you rent out the websites? or No. Usually if I'm uh, going to do all that work, I'm going to keep the money on the site. Um, so, yeah, I don't usually rent them out. So you but this is, I mean, it's inexpensive to where you can get it going. Like we, like, um, I actually had a screen pulled up earlier showing domain names from some of the ones I bought. Let's see if I can find it. Where'd it go? Do, 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 do. Okay. Tony and some of these in. domains are worth like more so than they pay. So you know, Marcus, I get credit for Tony. <laughs> yes, you already did. Yeah, I, I actually saw him in there. So he's uh He's in there with the upsell, so you get credit. You're good to go. Um, and the upsell you got is actually for the done-for-you service, so you're good to go. That's oh. basically the same as, as getting that, um, which will be awesome. And then uh, what you want to do now since you got the upsell is go over to pcmoneymaking.com and then just put in a ticket and say, hey, I got a high-ticket niche and kind of fill that form out. And it'll ask for niches. Just say, hey, I want like a download niche or something, and we'll, we'll get you one. Tony has a question. Do you ever sell those sites on places like Flippa? Um, most people on Flippa don't understand the value of them, so no. Um, I have in the past, but most people don't get the value, so I'm like, I'm going to go somewhere where people get the value. What do you uh, mean because... by they don't get the value? Like they pay well, for if it? Well, if I said... You? If I said this site makes uh, ten thousand dollars a month, do you want to buy it for thirty grand? They're going to be like, uh, that site looks like a third grader made it. <laughs> and that's that's what people tell me. They're like, oh, your site looks like a third grader. And I'm like, that's cool. I mean, it could. But you look, don't you don't give yeah. them the screenshots of the numbers to back it up or stuff like that. Most of the time, they they don't believe it or whatever. Um, Flippa's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, Flippa, I would use to try to sell domain names. Um, or a business that's like more quantifiable that they can see because this is kind of volatile like if the offer's gone you're out right so it's like hey if the offer goes away i'm i'm out um so you got to kind of test it and work with it um, but if you learn this stuff like hey you could build these sites like if you guys get the the done for you service where i do that watch how i do it and duplicate it like that we want you to learn we don't want you to just like give you the site learn and, and... to fish you will eat for a lifetime exactly. Exactly. Um, Tony and this says, is, like is the download niche the best or what niche should I get for my built out site? Happy face. Um, put that you liked my download presentation and then put some other options to the question as well. So there'll be a little question there. Put some other options and, and I'll pick the best based on those. If I think it's a download, I'll pick a download. If I don't, we'll pick a different one. And guys... Uh, Marcus has been doing this for you said 19 years 19, 19 years yeah 19 Long time. years so he knows what he's talking about okay if you you're in good hands with his knowledge hey Greg thanks for joining um, Tony says I want to spend money to make the money back in 30 days that's my personal challenge okay cool, cool. <laughs> yeah 
Well, I mean, look at it. So, like, he got the upsell, so he's in it, what, 850 bucks or something, if I add... 800 I think it's actually 800 exactly or something like that. Um, so if he does the uh, $2 download, he only needs to get 400 downloads to, to get it back. And, and that's not hard to do. But I've, I think our record was 5,000 a day at one point. Um, and we're getting 5,000 a day. Um, and, hey, you just do it. Right. Um, the key is to focus on um, the traffic. Very, very sensitive. The traffic. Uh, focus on pleasing the search engines. Um, Google would like to see a better blog type site, so you got to be kind of careful with your landing pages there. But guys, you can get traffic anywhere. Like I could go over to. Um, oh, I could get traffic on cool. YouTube. Okay, so there's YouTube. There's Google <laughs> AdWord. There's Bing. There's uh, what about Facebook ads? Do you run those? To these uh, things? Facebook ads. I don't know if the numbers would work on that. It might. It might work. You'd have to. You have to get traffic on this for seven cents or less to make it work. Okay. So that's kind of what the key. But you, you could go to say? like. I interrupted you. You were gonna say something. Oh, I don't. I don't remember. I got <laughs> attention problems. So. <laughs> I hardly remember my name these days. Um, so yeah, you could like go here. You could go to the marketplace of buy sell ads, um, and I could do like let's say yoga. See if there's a site about yoga, and no, there's not. Let's see if there's a site about weather. And I actually did this with one. There was a, a political type download, um, and that one worked. I, what do you mean? It was like a politics news kind of thing. Okay. Um, so like this guy, Roz, what's he got? He's got do-it-yourself stuff. So if there was a do-it-yourself toolbar, I could run it on that. Um, let's see if the numbers fit for some. Actually, there's one for like uh, convert. Wait, where there's are we? Like, what is buy, sell ads? What is? It's this? like a banner ad buying platform. Um, so if I do uh, convert... Maybe there's like a file converter. Convert. There we go. Um, convert. Uh, so you convert it. Looks like probably like a converter type software. Yeah, so this is a converter. So this, I'll bet you there's a guy running an ad right now on this for that exact same thing. So he's got an online file conversion thing as well. Here's another guy with an online file conversion. So like you can run your ad here. And it's dollar uh, eighty CPM. That means it's a dollar eighty per thousand impressions. So a buck eighty over one thousand. That would be um, like a twentieth of a cent, I think, if my mind's correct. Uh, so if I can get ten clicks, that would be eighteen cents a click. And this is super, super targeted traffic here. Okay, so they go on the site that's already there, and you're running the ad. The ad will show on this site. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yep, you get you're, paid you're, per impression. You pay per impression. Oh, you pay. Man, I'm lost at this point. <laughs> yeah, so you like if you're advertising. So if I am ever advertising, if I ever want traffic, yeah. I'm paying. Okay. If I'm ever getting rid of traffic, I'm getting paid. And Tony is like, do you ever run solo ads from Udemy? U all the time. -I -I. Yep, all the time. All the time. Um, would I run a solo ad to this stuff? Probably not. Would I run a solo ad to an opt-in page? Yes. Um, so yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff. And if you're doing solos, you could actually get traffic. Um, I think Warrior Forum has an ad on here. Or, or, or. I, like how you, I like how you say it out so that you can spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be typing weird stuff in. Um, so, yeah, like uh, you could do Warrior Form ads here. Uh, and the key is to make your ad good. Like if you saw an offer vault, those ads, like this is one of my ads. There's also another ad for the toolbar. Let's see. You're running an ad right on offer vault? Uh, yeah, I've known this guy for years. Let's see where my good one is. There's a really good one that has like a toolbar thing on it. It's in rotation somewhere. You guys saw it earlier. It's like a big arrow. And then I have uh, one down here as well. Oh, Tony, it's like you go to PCMoneyMaking.com and do what again? I think you have to fill out a form, right? Yeah, put in a ticket for a high ticket niche. Put in a ticket for a high ticket niche. Totally. So this is one of mine here. 
Um, and these like constantly out poll the other guys ads because they're just, they're easy. It's like click here to play a video. Hey, play, um, like download buttons work well. Um, drop down buttons work well. I don't know where my other ad is. It was in rotation a second ago. Download yeah. buttons work well. Drop down mm -hmm. works well. Yeah, anything that, that emulates like what people would do. Like if you wanted to, so here's what I do. Okay, and this will help you guys out. When I look at a site to advertise, I look at what people are doing. So like if someone, if you came to this site, uh, Kim, what would you do first? To this site? To this yeah, you're like, I'm going to go look up some offers. What would I do? I would think about what I what would I uh, get myself. <laughs> okay, so you'd probably like search something. Yeah. Yeah, so you'd go here. So if my banner ad looked like this, I, I would get a crap ton of clicks. Now, he doesn't let me do that. And most places Isn't don't. cheating? Kind of, yeah. Not if it goes to a search box. You're right. Like if I take him to my search, then that would work. Yeah. Okay. That makes uh, sense. So you want the next best thing, right? You want the next best thing to that. Like maybe you could have one up here that's like, oh, hey, uh, you know, um, download whatever offer. Or if you're on the uh, Warrior Forum or whatever, you look at this and you're like, okay, what would be the best thing? Uh, best thing would be. Wait, what are we Wait, doing what? in Warrior Forum? Hey guys. If I was, <laughs> if I was gonna do a banner ad. Okay. Right. So how would I make it the best? Well, maybe I'd have like this button. See how this ad blends in with the site? Yeah. yeah. We like that. Okay. Oh. See what the bottom one looks like. See how that looks like a banner? His clicks probably suck. Let's try it again. Hey guys, if you're here live, hashtag live. And if you're here for the replay, hashtag replay. And so just so you guys know, for those joining, hey Jonathan, and Kevin has a question, uh, placement or search ads? Question both. Mark. Both. So mm -hmm. the answer is both. Um, However, you could get traffic that makes financial sense. So, like, if I could get traffic and it makes sense, if I'm like, okay, I'm getting paid um, two dollars a download, I want to get traffic less than twenty cents. If I can get United States traffic for less than twenty cents of people that are looking up the yoga stuff, boom, I'm good. Doesn't matter if it's placement. Doesn't matter if it's uh, solo ad. Doesn't matter. It just matters. Um, can I get it for that cost? And what kind of project is this? Is this a day project? Is it a weekend project? How how much time do you allocate for a noob who didn't buy the done for you thing um, mm -hmm. to tackle this and they got your course? Most people can set their first site up in a day. Um, but I give yourself, you know, a couple of days to, to kind of learn it. There's a lot to go through in the course, but you only want to focus on what you need at that point. So, like, if you're going through the course and you're like, hey, you know what? It talks about Facebook traffic, but you're not doing Facebook traffic. Watch that later when you start doing Facebook traffic. Um, so, I'm going in. Know. Let's say I'm going in as complete newbie. Um, I want to see results as soon as possible. Where do you suggest I click into your course? Getting started. <laughs> Okay, Marcus, but <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Well, it, it, it is really like I, I took a long time to line it up this way because this is the way you should go through it. Oh, okay. So you're going to go getting started. You're going to go here. You're going to set up your first hub site. That's going to teach you all about hosting and stuff. If you don't know how to do hosting, it'll show you how to do it the right way so you can have your site up like instantly. Then you're going to go through and download the plugins. This video here, Understanding Internet Money, um, you guys are going to love because it goes through and it teaches you my mindset of how the internet works, right? Stop looking at the internet as a, as a uh, searcher and start looking as a consumer. Uh, so that's going to flip your mindset and you'll be like, oh, wow, okay. Like if you guys looked at this video or this uh, talk we're having right now and you're like, Marcus kind of pulled back the curtain, but I'm a little tweaked, <laughs> but that's going to pull back the curtain. It's going to be like, whoa, people are really making money with this stuff? Holy crap. Um, and it's really cool. And you guys can get this software um, over at the link she had in there. You guys can, I think we could paste it again. It's affiliate dude.com slash Kim. Yeah. And the first link I put, I put HTTPS. I think that's what mm. was broken, but if, Could if be. you type HTTP, um, well, anyways, I pasted the link in there. So yeah, if, Marcus is showing you something that has been working through the ages. 
I mean, you've been doing this for 20 years, and mm -hmm. it seems like it's a strategy that still works. It's cool that mm -hmm. you can set it up in one or two days. It doesn't take months and months for you to see results. And mm -hmm. it just makes sense. You go to offervault.com. There are people paying for leads, not, not like opt-ins, not sales, just mm -hmm. leads. So just downloading something, clicking something, and you get mm -hmm. paid because they've worked it out with their math that per lead, they're gonna make however many. So as long as they're getting leads in, um, they're paying you to be creative for them. So mm -hmm. let's say a weather app, a, the person selling the weather app might not think of things outside the box. He might just put slap up a page and have like the weather app for people to just download and get if they're searching weather app. But people mm -hmm. like Marcus, who does get creative with it, He'll be like, oh, well, you can go and blog about certain hurricane names and people who are reading about a hurricane name or that hurricane that day, they might be privy to downloading the weather app. So they, they'll click that. And just so you know, like just having a glimpse into Marcus's mind about thinking outside the box, I think that's enough for you to really want to uh, like part out the curtains and look like, okay, well, that's a lot of value already. Like, what's beyond that? You know, there's probably so many strategies, right, Marcus? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's tons. Like, there, when you do this a long time, there's all kinds of stuff out there um, that not a lot of people know. Like, if you do pay-per-call, you could do stuff like rehab leads. A lot of people know I have um, a site that I built from personal experience when I had alcohol addiction, um, and I made this YouTube channel youtube.com slash talk sober um, and this channel talks all about addiction and how to get sober and everything um, and these people here like they pay 825 bucks for a two minute phone call guy no calls up way. he's like hey I need rehab or whatever you get 825 which is crazy what that makes me so like question my whole life and everything in it <laughs> What the heck is going on? You know, I have conversations with friends who, um, uh, you know, are still like, hey, Kim, how do I make money online? And the biggest thing is that it's their mentality. Like, they just don't believe it. So they don't even do yep. anything. Like, they're paralyzed because they just don't <laughs> think it's possible. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Uh, and it, it's so possible. You just, you really have to stop thinking about what you want and really focus on what the market wants. Because that's the thing is you, you've been taught, oh, go for weight loss, do a weight loss offer, find some weight loss traffic. I don't. I don't even know what I'm going to promote until I use the trigger word method. I have no idea. Um, because that, that pigeonholes you. You're like, okay, well, now I'm stuck to promoting this offer. And it's like, no, I'm not. There's like 70,000 offers on Offer Vault. I can promote whatever the hell I want. Um, and all I need to do is find traffic that works. So if I'm like, okay, well, what about um, let's do, I don't know, uh, download Right, I'm like, okay, download, um, and I could see what people want to download, like maybe download uh, forex stuff. Um, and you know, if you want to get in the forex market, don't go for the word forex. Do the forex glossary and looking for people that put like sell, buy, put, or whatever they speak in weird terms. Um, but you can do all kinds of stuff, like the example about the error codes. Right, that's there's people making money with it right now. It might as well be me and you. Yeah. So what is this Mac Flash Player? You know, people download Flash Players, and uh, to me, it's like I thought it's coming from like Flash itself. This what is that? This Flash? Uh, yeah, like um, well, right now on my test uh, server here that we're using this, you'll notice that some of the videos come up funny. Yeah. Uh, like this. That's because of Flash Player. So if I downloaded the Flash Player, that would work. Um, but it's my test server, so I don't worry too much that, about it. I know what Flash is, but doesn't that mm -hmm. come from Direct Company itself? Or they they pay, they go on here, OfferVault.com, and they pay mm -hmm. for the lead. Exactly. And, and all you have to do is get them into it, make it easy. Now, if you want to look at this, because a lot of people come to me and they're like, Marcus, who downloads toolbars? I don't download toolbars, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, check this out. You go to CNET.com. You look at the popular downloads, and I think there's actually a page where you can see. 
Oh, here's a question. And uh, Christopher, <laughs> I'll get to your question as well. But here's a question. So all those big companies, do they sell an offer vault? What do you mean big companies? Because the way that I, I've been seeing it so far is like little tiny companies uh, doing a Chrome extension or something like that. Like what about the huge companies? Oh, that's a huge company. Yeah, the company that puts those out is actually owned by the company that bought out Ask Jeeves, uh, which is like, I think the guy who made that company is huge. Look at this. Here's another one like download now here, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. So these things are being downloaded and they are working. And there was a site where you could actually see how many times they were downloaded. I don't remember how to get there. But I mean, it's like something like 5 million people a week download this, which is insane. Oh, I think uh, Russell Brunson um, mentions that website in one of his. Um, it's like a way for you to know how much, how popular mm -hmm. a certain ad is doing. Yep. But uh, Christopher, Christopher's question is, Marcus, obviously there are different markets. Have you tried other countries too as the yield as they yield different opportunities, of course. That said, which countries would you consider to be valuable? And along with that, where to find PPL campaigns for those if you know some resources? Um, I like to stick to US-based because uh, it's controllable and usually you get a higher payout. So that's just me. I mean, if you know Spanish or something and want to go to Spanish countries or something like that, you could do that. Um, I don't. But you can do that. You just have to look at the payout because the payouts will be different. So you'll notice on OfferVault it'll say like U.S. only or something like that. Um, let's do. It looks uh, like the <laughs> currency changes too, maybe according to yeah. where they are. Yeah, so it'll be like they'll actually show you like a little grid of what you're going to get. So severe weather, uh, this is U.S. only. So, like, if they're out of the U.S., they're not even going to pay on it. Now, some of them might be um, GDN. I'm not sure what that is. So, like this, learn the lyrics browser extension. Uh -huh. Like, seriously, like, okay. Um, you would do, like, lyrics. And you type it in, and they'll be, like, you know, whoever's popular, and the songs will come up. Um and you could just make a little site with the lyrics and be like, download the your lyric thing, like God's Plan lyrics. Three hundred and sixty-eight thousand people a month are oh searching. Oh my gosh! That I is doubt insane. there's anyone advertising. There's Genius.com. I think they they do lyrics. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I know. Hey guys, if you are like Tony and you bought something for Marcus, um, I offer two lifetime accounts of Group Convert. Um, as part of the bonus, so just let me know. Um, but look at what Marcus is showing that there's these people searching for lyrics every single month in the hundreds of thousands. So if you they click into it, just read the lyrics, There's and then they download something related to the lyrics. Well, actually, what were you searching for? That was, I blanked out. The, so uh, they go into, I just put in lyrics. They got in mm -hmm. lyrics. So mm -hmm. you go into Offer Vault, and mm -hmm. they're going to download Learn the Lyrics browser extension, and you get paid mm -hmm. just for that download, $2.20. And if there's not a lot of competition for it, well, actually, there is a lot of competition for that. There's none. Yeah, there's no advertisers. Oh, yeah, like if you do. Really? Uh, let's try Bing. God's Plan lyrics. God's Plan oh. is very popular by Drake. I don't even know what it is, but heck, I'll make money on it. Yeah, there's Genius.com. You're, you're talking about them. Um, so, yeah, there's no advertisers. There's, like, literally none. Okay, so if you advertise for just God's Plan lyrics and... <laughs> And then it leads to a simple site, like one page, two page site that says, mm -hmm. oh, you like that lyric? Here's this Chrome extension where you could learn. What does that Chrome extension do? Learn the lyrics. Um, yeah, it's like you download lyrics, find lyrics quickly and easily. Yeah. So if it's someone who is searching for lyrics all the time and there are people who just search for just lyrics, then they could have this on their browser and you get paid $2.20 per download. Not even mm -hmm. opt-in. They don't give any nothing, just download. 
So. Yeah, Ben uh, Ben Jeremy has a has a question. He says, "Which CPA network do you recommend?" Um, I have several that I use, like kind of religiously, that we go over in the course. Do we help our members get their own CPA account? Yes, we actually guarantee that you will get accepted, unless you're in like the jungle where you can't get accepted. Which I don't even think I've ever had that yet. Like some people are way out there and they still get accepted. Um, so we guarantee that you will get accepted to one of my favorite networks probably more, but at least one. Um, how do I find a network that doesn't scrape leads? Well, you listen to me. I've been doing this a long time, and I know they don't scrape leads. Um, and you can usually tell and if they're scraping leads, you pause it. Um, and one that pays weekly. Usually, a network will pay weekly if you get to $1,000 a week. Yeah. So, wow, that's crazy. And Eric said it's called SimilarWebsite.com, the website you were trying to think of. The, they oh, okay. To, the popularity. Mm -hmm. um, and for getting accepted to the CPA networks, we actually have that in the profit section. Uh, so under profit centers, I think it is, profit centers, um, getting accepted. So watch that, fill it out exactly, you'll get accepted. And I actually, that was an interview that I did with a CPA manager who accepts people. Um, so she's telling you, this is what you do. Um, so yeah, it's cool. It's all there for you. Just got to do it. All right, you guys, um, let me know, let us know if there's any other questions. This has been a pretty long <laughs> interview, but it <laughs> seems like everyone's really, really excited that cool. they're figuring this out. And even though, you know, Marcus has been doing this for 20 years, it's not, it's not a technique that goes away. It seems like if anything, people still don't know about it. You know, it's mm -hmm. still a big kept secret. And as long as Marcus is preaching about it left and right, like I've interviewed Marcus a while, like two months ago, maybe um, two months ago. And I think I interviewed him and I, he didn't do this training. So I kind of like glossed over what he did. I, I just know that he does affiliate marketing. I downloaded his extension, but thought nothing of it until, you know, you don't know until you know, until you actually see the training, until you actually see stuff that makes sense. And that's why I brought Marcus in to you guys um, in this group, because I know a lot of you guys are still, you know, you have so much knowledge already on so many ways to make money, but then there's this method and you're like, oh my God, you know, you can knock that out in a couple of days and start earning and not have, uh, you know, just know that there are options out there and people like Marcus, who is nice enough and, and cool enough to gather everything to to make sure that you get all the tools that you need to be successful at this um, work. So yeah, that's pretty cool, Marcus. Thanks for putting this together. <laughs> no prob. And if you guys uh, want to go get that at the link, yeah, that's what it's called, a link, um, go ahead and sign up. You get 90 days support. So if you ever have any questions or you want me to look at your landing page or uh, you need some help, you can always go in here and, and use your products to get help. You can check out the tools. Um, you can even go into, we give you uh, a month free of the mentorship, uh, which actually gives you all the plugins. And I spent like $100,000 making these plugins, um, but they're totally worth it. And it shows you how to get paid. It gives you some custom themes that we have. So if you want to do WordPress, these themes are specific to this stuff. Like it's not like a theme just from Theme Forest or something. This is specific to making this work because the key is conversion. Um, another thing I would look at also is make sure like if you're doing something like the lyrics, make sure you don't step on any trademarks or anything like that. Um, try to be as vague as possible um, and just let it fly and see how it does. Oh yeah, and to answer Kevin's question, I am an affiliate to Marcus's course thing here. Um, mm -hmm. He made one link for me, it's just affiliatedude.com slash Kim. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, you can be an affiliate of his course, right? Or yep. do you have to apply? What, is there like, what do you um, do? We ask that you either have a list. So like when Kim came to me, she's like, I have people who follow me. And I was like, okay, yeah, you're legit. So let's do something. Um, if you're new, I do ask that you are a member of the course just so you know what you're selling. Um, and also so we can help you do it because we want you guys to make money. We want you to do well. So um, definitely do that. Greg, the question to your uh, the answer to your question is that course access is 
paid. It's not a free course, but <laughs> you can watch this entire training and actually start implementing um, what Marcus has shown you. And you can actually make money just from watching this replay of this video. Um, mm -hmm. However, if you want the shortcuts and the tools, he has custom themes. He has a mentorship program. He has he even has a, a done for you upsell where Tony just got it today, um, where a site is created for you, um, and you run traffic to it. So it's actually pretty cool that he has these different levels of service. So yeah, Tony says bye. Talk to you soon, <laughs> hey, Tony. Um, so, Greg, it isn't free. I, I think a lot of times, um, like, if you do get a course for free, it's it's hard to, like, push yourself to do stuff. <laughs> I well, know and, I have, um, you know. <laughs> and just think about what you're getting. Like, the WordPress plugins alone, I mean, those go for, like, 77 bucks each. You're getting 12 of them. That's, like, 1200 bucks. Um, 30 days of support and coaching where you can ask questions. That's totally, I don't know what that's worth, probably invaluable to the right person um you're getting all the other tools all the training all the software um and it's right now it's 300 bucks when the anniversary edition comes out this year that's going to go up to 997 um but if you order now you're actually going to get that as an upgrade for free um so if you want to save 300 if you're like dude 297 bucks there's even a payment plan right so if you go over there and you go um affiliate mar affiliate dude dot com slash kim Right, it's going to take you straight to the order page, and then all you do, put your name, last name, use a good email that way because that's where your logins go to. Put your billing address, city, state, zip, all this info. You can see it's like super secure. I pay a fortune to have a secure site. Um, you can do two ninety seven one time, which I mean seriously, like you get what one hundred and fifty downloads and you make your money back, um, or two people to sign up for web hosting, or you could do the payment plan, make it easier. It's one twenty seven times three, and uh, they're monthly, so. After three months, you're done, you're paid off, and you're ready to go. Um, now, it is non-refundable because we are revealing some things that are trade secrets. Um, so, like, if you did not like this training, uh, if you were like, dude, Kim, why did you have Marcus on your, your thing? I hate this. Don't buy my stuff. But if you were like, dude, what you just taught me is awesome, um, you're going to love this. So I would base it on that, and then you just get in there. You can see all your bonuses here. You get the CPA swipe file. You get tons of plugins easy to follow trainings, PDFs, all kinds of stuff. Um, and I think you'll be like a lot of my customers who get in here and you're like, dude, this should be like two grand, um, which it'll be 997 soon. But, you know, I think you'll find that it's it's very, very well worth it. Yeah. And um, to clarify for the audience about Greg, Greg is a really cool person. He does pay for stuff and he's part of my, he's actually part of my um, uh, partnership for group convert. Um, Greg just got in late and he's just asking a question about whether it's free or paid, but um, <laughs> to clear that up, I don't want to be like, hey, Greg, of course this is paid, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want to come off like that. <laughs> Greg, it's really cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, you guys, this is a really, really good deal for what um, uh, Marcus is offering. I know courses that are thousands of dollars and, you know, it takes like months and months to implement a lot of things to do and uh, from the free stuff that you've gotten today it's like mm -hmm. okay yeah it's a no-brainer you could you could knock this out in a couple of days you don't have to spend months and months working at this and you can start making money if you work at it if you do the work um, yeah. but yeah so and I'm throwing in two lifetime uh, accounts of group convert and usually group convert lifetime is 197 a pop so I'm adding that value on top of uh, Marcus's course so cool yep and All if right. you guys ever need help click this button here and you can get us on live chat right this will pop up it'll pop up with a little window like this and you can actually talk to me or my support team. Um, if it's a tech thing, go to the support team because they'll help you with it. Um, if it's something like, hey, dude, Marcus, look at my site and I'm online, you can actually just talk to me here and say, hey, you know, my site's uh, converting this. I want to convert better. Uh, or what do you think about this niche? Or, um, you know, anything like that. And we'll help you out with it, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think you guys will find that it's a pretty good deal. You guys will love it. 
All right, sounds cool. You guys, I think uh, we've kept Marcus on long enough for this whole training. This is so jam-packed and so, so full of value, Marcus. Thank you so much. Cool. All right, thanks for having me. All right, bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Oh, yeah. If you like that video, then you will love all the resources that I have over at Kim C. Dang. Dot com that is k m c d a n g dot com there you will find all my courses my extensions all the offers that um, i have as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started